We're covering hope, mercy, power with your promises of mighty God Ahia. I will save you, says Ahia, our El Elohi, who is omnipotent, all powerful, omniscient, all knowing, and omnipresent, present everywhere at all times. Covering several scriptures of the King James Version Bible, starting off with Isaiah 35 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your mighty God Ahia will come with vengeance. Even El Elohi with a recompense, he will come and save you. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am Ahia thy mighty God. I will strengthen thee, yeah. I will help thee, yeah. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword. But by thy life shall be for a prey unto thee. Because thou hast put thy trust in me, says Ahiah our El Elohi. I have declared and have saved and have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says Ahiah that I am mighty God, and there is none else besides me. For higher your mighty God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. Assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, you that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up wood of their graving image, and pray unto a God that cannot save them. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Be not afraid of him, says Ahia, our mighty God, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. I will also save you from all your uncleannesses, and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon it. And it shall come to pass that as you were accursed among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you. And you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. For by grace you are saved through faith, and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of mighty God Ahia. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness, which is kindness, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. And Ahia, your mighty God, sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. But as for you, you thought evil against me. But mighty God Ahia meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. As I have said before, thus says Ahia, as mentioned in the forgotten books of Eden, I will save you and your descendants. When I shall come down from heaven and shall become flesh of your descendants and take on myself the infirmity from which you suffer. O Adam, as to the fruit of the tree of life that you have asked for, I will not give it to you now, but only when the 5,500 years are fulfilled. At that time, I will give you fruit from the tree of life and you will eat and live forever. You Eve and your righteous descendants. I told you that at the end of the five and a half days, which are 5,500 years, I will send my word, Yeshia, the Messiah, your king, and save you. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and you men of Israel. I will help thee, said a high mighty God, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword. But thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith Ahia, our mighty God. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on my name, Ahia, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion, which is Judah, and in Jerusalem, which is Israel, shall be deliverance as mighty God Ahiah had said, and in the remnant whom Ahiah shall call. 
hope. The high and mighty God also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. The mighty God Ahia will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. And there is hope in the, thine end, said Ahia, mighty God, that thy children shall come again to their own border. Ahia, mighty God, is my portion, said my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of mighty God Ahia. Blessed is the man that trusted in Ahia, our El Elohi, and whose hope Ahia is. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of our Messiah, Yeshia. And every man that had this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Blessed be a high and mighty God and Father of our King and Savior, Yeshia, the Messiah, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yeshia, our Messiah, from the dead. Mighty God, Ahia, take it pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. But Yeshia, our Messiah, as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope, firm unto the end. And we shall desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of the hope unto the end, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for a high our mighty God to lie, we might have a strong consolation, who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entered into that within the veil. For the Lord made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, by which we draw nigh unto a higher our mighty God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Looking for the blessed hope, and the glorious appearing of the great mighty God Ahia and our Savior and King Yeshia the Messiah. In hope of eternal life, which mighty God Ahia that cannot lie, promised before the world began. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our King and Savior, Yeshua the Messiah, in the sight of mighty God Ahia, our Father. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. If we continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, to whom mighty God Ahia will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Messiah Shia in you, the hope of glory. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints that at the time you were without Messiah Yeshia, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope, and without a higher our mighty God in the world. Now our King Yeshia the Messiah himself, and mighty God Ahia, even our Heavenly Father, which had loved us and had given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, not boasting of things without our measure that is of other men's labors, but having hope 
when your hope is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule abundantly. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to Ahia mighty God, and unto us by the will of Ahia. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of the suffering, so shall you be also of the consolation. Bear it all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, endure it all things. And now abided faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, which is love, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of mighty God Ahia. In patience and experience and experience hope, and hope make it not a shame, because the love of mighty God Ahia is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man see it, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoice it. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in a higher our mighty God and heavenly Father. Behold, the eye of mighty God a higher our El Elohi is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Let thy mercy, O Ahia, thy mighty God, be upon us, according as we hoped in thee. For thou art my hope, O Ahia, my mighty God. Thou art my trust from my youth. I will hope continually, and will yet praise thee more and more. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I have hoped in thy judgments. My soul fainted for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. I wait for you, Ahia, my mighty God. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. Let Israel hope in Ahia el Elohi, for with Ahia there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. Let Israel hope in mighty God Ahia, from henceforth forever. Happy is he that had Ahia mighty God of Jacob, for his help whose hope is in Ahia mighty God. Now the mighty God Ahia of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Mercy. Though in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in thy strength, thy holy unto thy holy habitation, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep it my commandments. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of a higher mighty God before thee, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiven iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and fourth generations. I am mighty God is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children into the third and fourth generations. Pardon, I beseech thee, 
iniquity of this people, Ahia, according unto the greatness of thy mercy. And as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt even until now, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep it my commandments. Know therefore that Ahia, thy mighty God, he is God Almighty, the faithful El Elohi, which keep it covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. He is the tower of salvation for his king and showeth mercy to his anointed unto David and to his seed forever, forever more. And he said, The high and mighty God of Israel, there is no mighty God like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath, who keep his covenant and mercy with thy servants, that walk before thee with all their heart. O oh, give thanks unto mighty God Ahia, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And they sang together by chorus in praising and giving thanks unto Ahia our mighty God, because he is good, for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised Ahia mighty God because the foundations of the house of Ahia was laid. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Ahia forever and ever. All the paths of Ahia are mighty God or mercy and truth, and to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. Behold, the eye of mighty God Ahia is upon them that fear at him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Thy mercy, O Ahia, our mighty God, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reached unto the clouds. He shall send from heaven and save me, from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Salah. Mighty God Ahia shall send forth his mercy and his truth. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. And I will sing of thy power. Yeah, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. And to thee, O oh, my strength, will I sing Ahia. For Ahia, my mighty God, is my defense, and the mighty God of my mercy. Also unto thee, O Ahia, my mighty God, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Blessed be Ahia, our mighty God, which had not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. For thou, Ahia, our El Elohi, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call up on thee. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. But thou, O Ahia, art a mighty God, full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. Justice and judgment are the inhabitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, Ahia, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. He had remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our mighty God, Ahia. For Ahia, our mighty God, is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endured to all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yeah, the set time is come. The high our mighty God is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Who as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. But the mercy of mighty God, Ahia, our El Elohi, is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. Praise ye, Ahia, O give thanks unto Ahia, thy mighty God, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto Ahia, our mighty God, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. 
For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. O give thanks unto Ahai, our mighty God, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear Ahai, our mighty God, say that his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto Ahai, thy mighty God, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. The earth, O Ahiah, is full of thy mercy. Teach it me thy statutes. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon Ahiah, our mighty God, until that he have mercy upon us. Let Israel hope in Ahiah, our mighty God, for with Ahiah there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption. O give thanks unto a higher almighty God, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto a higher, the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks to a higher, the King of kings, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him by wisdom make the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in the firstborns, for his mercy endureth forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever, with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea in two parts, for his mercy endureth forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever. And had redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto El Elohi Ahiah of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Ahiah mighty God is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great mercy. His mercy endureth forever. Ahiah mighty God taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged. And by the fear of mighty God Ahia, men depart from evil. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholden by mercy. He that followed after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. For Ahia, thy mighty God, will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that had mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. And in mercy shall the house, shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth, in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment and hastening righteousness. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For a higher our mighty God had comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said a higher mighty God, thy Redeemer. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says Ahiah, mighty God, 
that had mercy on thee. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that say, Praise Ahia of hosts, for Ahia our mighty God is good, for his mercy endured forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of Ahia, mighty God, for I will cause to return the captivity of the land, as at the first says Ahia our Elohi. Therefore, thus says Ahia, mighty God, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and will be jealous for my holy name. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by Ahia their mighty God. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of mighty God Ahia more than burnt offerings. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek Ahia thy mighty God, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Therefore turn thou to the mighty God Ahia, keep mercy and judgment, and wait on the mighty God Ahia continually. Who is Ahia el Elohi like unto thee, that pardoned iniquity, and passed by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retained it not his anger forever, because he delighted in mercy. Thus speaketh Ahia our mighty God of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them. For I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am a higher their mighty God, and will hear them. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He had helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. For Ahia said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Therefore, had he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he harden. Not by works of righteousness, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Blessed be Ahia El Elohi, and our Heavenly Father, and our King and Savior, Yeshia the Messiah, which, according to his abundant mercy, had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yeshia our Messiah from the dead, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of mighty God Ahia, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. The wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Grace be with you, mercy and peace, from Ahia the Father, and from the King Yeshia our Messiah, the Son of the Father Ahia, in truth and love. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Keep yourselves in the love of a higher mighty God, looking for the mercy of our King, Yeshia the Messiah, into eternal life. Power. A higher mighty God is omnipotent, all-powerful. For the kingdom of mighty God Ahia is not in word, but in power. The right hand, O Ahia, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Ahia, had dashed in pieces the enemy. For higher our El Elohi shall judge his people and repent themselves for his servants, when he seeth that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left. They are thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest out by the mighty power and by the stretched out arm. 
but thou shalt remember Ahiah thy mighty God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Ahiah mighty God is my strength and power, and he make it my way perfect. Thine, O Ahiah, thy mighty God, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Ahiah, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. He draw also the mighty with his power. He rise it up, and no man is sure of life. He divided the sea with his power, and by his understanding he smited through the proud. Behold, a high and mighty God exalted by his power, who teach it like him? Behold, a high mighty God exalted by his power, who teach it like him? The voice of a high mighty God is powerful. The voice of a higher Elelo he is full of majesty. But I will sing of thy power. Yeah, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. A high and mighty God has spoken once, twice. Have I heard this? And... Power belonging unto Ahiah are El Elohi, which by his strength set it fast the mountains, being girded with power. Ahiah thy El Elohi, how terrible art thou in thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. He ruled by his power for ever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves, Salah. O oh, Ahiah thy El Elohi, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The mighty God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be Ahiah Ayah ah forevermore. He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven, and by his power he brought in the south wind. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. Nevertheless, he saved them from his for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness, from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. He has showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom, and talk of thy power. Great is our King, a high and mighty God, and of great power his understanding is infinite. Praise ye, a higher, praise a higher, our mighty God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. He had made the earth by his power, he had established the world by his wisdom, and had stretched out the heavens by his discretion. I have made the earth, the man and the beast that are upon the ground. By my great power, by my outstretched arm, and have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. There is no man that had power over the spirit, to retain the spirit, neither had he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might in he increaseth strength. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who had created these things, that bring it out their host by number. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Ah, Ahiah, thy mighty God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy power, and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. He had made the earth by his power, he had established the world by his wisdom, and had stretched out the heavens by his understanding. He delivered and rescued, and he 
work its signs and wonders in the heaven and in the earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? A high and mighty God. A high El Elohi is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Ahia had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds or the dust of his feet. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And Yeshia our Messiah said, I am, and ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents, and as scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, with power and great glory. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of power of mighty God Ahia. But as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the sons of mighty God Ahia, even to them that believe it on his name. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Messiah Yeshua, and great grace was upon them all. How mighty God Ahia anointed Messiah Yeshua of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For mighty God Ahia was with him, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto mighty God Ahiah, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me, and declare to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and the Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of mighty God Ahia, the powers that be or ordained of mighty God Ahia. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of mighty God Ahia, and that they resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For the kingdom of mighty God Ahia is not in word, but in power. And mighty God Ahia had both raised up Yeshua Messiah, and will also raise up us by his own power. Strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, and to all patience, and long suffering with joyfulness, who had delivered us from the power of darkness, and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. For the word of mighty God Ahai is quick and powerful, and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart, who was made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. According as his divine power had given unto us all, things that pertained unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us unto glory and virtue. Now Ahia thy mighty God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. 
Well, mighty God of high had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And he that overcome it and keep it my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Thou art worthy, O Ahiah, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Sang with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power, be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever, who only had immortality, dwelling in the delight which no man can approach unto, whom no man had seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. To the only wise, mighty God, Ahia, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our mighty God, Ahia, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for listening.